Action. With the goal of eliminating underage drinking on the East End, Safe in Sag Harbor spent Sunday afternoon filming a public service announcement about Suffolk County's social host law. What we hope to gain out of this is um, an increased awareness amongst the adults and the public that this law exists and the consequences of breaking the law. Local students volunteered their time to help out. I thought that doing a PSA would be kind of like a fun way to get the word out. You know, that like parents ought to be like following the rules and making sure that kids are safe because uh, the main thing, the main reason that all these parties are happening is because the parents just like don't know. The need we found for this is that when you survey um, students and children of the Sag Harbor area and nationwide, quite honestly, the one of the reasons for underage drinking is the easy accessibility of alcohol. And one place they get the alcohol is at home. And social host is the parties that people host in their homes for underage drinking. So it's social access versus retail access and Safe in Sag Harbor is working on both of those. I'm hoping that it has some impact. I wrote the script um, about four years ago and it took until now to um, get the funding and the uh, green light to do it. And the big thing, the big challenge for me is I'm gonna try and get it into the monitor where there is a continuous loop at the concession stands of all regal theaters on the East End. Um, they have a monopoly on movie theaters and um, teenagers frequent them often and I think they um, owe it to the uh, youth of Sag Harbor or the whole East End to uh, allow us to show our um, PSA on their monitors. No alcohol was consumed during the taping of the public service announcement. For the Sag Harbor Express, I'm Christine Sampson.